YouTube and welcome my name is Gabby and today we are gonna be playing some modern um, this deck is getting pretty popular in modern it's called Mardu Pyromancer let me show you guys the deck list uh, basically this is kind of like a Jund deck um, what I mean by Jund deck is that it's not like a combo it's not really beat down it's just kind of like mid-range removal spells good creature sort of deal um, so you have the classic good removal discard, you have things like Inquisition of Kozilek, you have things like Thoughtseize, Efficient Removal and Fatal Push, and Lightning Bolt. Um, then you have other forms of removal that are like pretty good. Dreadboar is good at killing anything. Kolagon's Command is a really good value card in Modern. It also helps you buy back some stuff if you eventually get it in the yard. Destroys Artifacts, which is nice. Lingering Souls, which has always been like one of the best cards in Modern, period. Um... You're mising two Blood Moons in the main deck because you're not super affected by them and you sometimes do get other people with it. Um, and then you also have the Bedlam Revelers, which is nice because if you get enough stuff in your yard and you have Faithless Looting to, to fill up your yard, you can play this for cheap and then you can draw three cards once you play them. And it's just a, a big creature with prowess. So, um, yeah, this deck is like... There's, there's nothing to it really it's just kind of good value cards and good creatures so that's why i, I name it something like a, um no play mana morphos no this version that i'm playing is not playing mana morphos i i to to be fair i have not played this deck before um part of the reason that i'm playing it is because gp vegas is coming up and i want to have a little bit more practice with the decks that i don't play super often so i don't anticipate we're gonna play this great but we are gonna learn and stuff together <laughs> I don't think this, it's a way to hard cast souls with moon in play. It runs one sometimes. Yeah, this is a learning stream. You guys ready to do some learning? I don't know, some people are saying that this list, uh, that this deck list runs Manamorphos because it does make sense. It is a way to hard cast um, lingering souls with blood moon in play. But you also only have two blood moons, so I'm not super concerned about it. We'll, we'll see if it was necessary. Crunchy Pants, how are you? Alano, yes, this is a learning stream. Learning is the most fun apart from having fun. Yes, that is like the motto of this stream, as you guys know. It's like, we, uh, I forget exactly what the, what does it say on my, like, intro thing? We, uh, whoa. I forget exactly what the, what does it say on mm, No, Gooby. Uh, Be quiet, whoa. Gooby. Ghosty, welcome back for the two months. I appreciate the support, Ghosty. Yeah, reception. All right, Il Matagatu. Let's battle. This hand is medium. We have Inquisition to do something to their hand and Brutality to remove the second thing, but I feel like this hard to just, just loses to anything. If we're up against Burn, it's great. What are my favorite modern decks? I, I play a lot of Bad Boy. Um, I like Grishol Brand and then Tron the best, probably. Yeah, I'm gonna mulligan this hand. It's like pretty mediocre. I'm gonna keep this one. We have the Faceless Looting, luckily, to cycle and see more of our deck. Oh, we have White Border Blood Moons! What up, Snakes of all kind? How are you, Doom Drake? Welcome, One Snake. Welcome, All Drakes. Uh, I do like a Lingering Souls, but I don't like it here. I will say. I'm gonna loot, so we could loot the Lingering Souls away, but then if we brick online, that's like pretty savage. I kinda wanna top it though, I'm super greedy. All right. So we're gonna untap and loot, and then we get to loot that away. Yeah, always loot, Squirrel. <sighs> so lucky, okay. Let's dump the Lingering Souls, and we want to keep the Bloodstained Mire. We don't know what we're up against. We could just dump the Collective Brutality, because we already have the Dreadboard to get rid of anything that's too spooky. Gotta good, gotta love playing multiple PCs, so I'm... Yes! Doom Drake! I'm gonna be playing the, the Jurassic Park thing. I could also pitch the Blood Moon. Without knowing what we're up against, it's like kind of hard to decide whether it's Blood Moon or... You think we pitched the Dreadbore? It's Dread... I think it's between Dreadbore or Collective Brutality. 
People are into Dreadbore. All right, let's let's give it a shot. Let's pitch the Dreadbore. And let's pass. I was kind of tempted to ditch the Blood Moon, but without knowing what we're playing against, the Blood Moon might just get him. Get him. That was kind of unexpected. Gigaster to the nine months, welcome back and stream baby! Ah, it's a stream baby. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Um, okay, so it looks like Blood Moon might not be the best against this deck. Uh, what we could do is Bloodstained Buyer, Stromboli. A Stromboli? What are you talking about, Luis? I was not expecting burn either when they went Sacred Foundry on top. I think we go Collective Brutality, discarding once. Uh, we duress them. Oh, stream baby. <laughs> and then and then we also kill the Goblin Guide. Kennedy! I am drinking Soylent, actually. How are you, Kennedy? It's good to see you. Hi, Kennedy. All right, we're going to Swamp. Cast with Escalate two modes. We're going to Duress them and also kill a creature. So I learn like humans. Yes, exactly like humans. And we're going to pitch the Blood Moon. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's good. We got rid of their only creature. Now their hand is... And Ken, thank you so much for the seven months. Welcome back. Uh, we're gonna have a hard time beating this hand. Just, Ambush Riper for Smash Ultimate. Just, just FYI's. I think we're gonna take Boros Charm over here. This is bad. All right, Boros Charm it is. I feel like we are dead. It turns out that maybe Blood Moon was making him winning. I think it was right to pitch the Blood Moon though. Good. I'm glad Denver streams are finally working well. Yes, dude, Kennedy. It it, it was so bad. Because I always complain about Comcast being shitty. I can't really run out the Pyromancer when I can't get a token out of it. They played Bloodstain Mire. They can't kill it this turn, but they could just target my thing. You can? You think I should? It will eat one of the other spells. I guess then maybe by the time I draw the third one, I get to go Pyromancer Lightning Bolt. Yeah, that's true. All right, sorry, young peasy. <laughs> is that what you want? <laughs> um, yeah. So, but as it turns out, Century Link is just like lying scumbags, and hmm, they won face. Well, that was atrocious. So they drew Searing Blaze and they don't have the... Uh, they still have everything here. I hate Searing Blaze so much too. It is stupid. They don't have the Rift Bolt anymore. I guess I'm gonna... Inquisition them and I'll have Bolt in case he draw a creature. We'll see. Sorry, gotta run, gotta go to... L they have Lava Spike, Lava Spike, Lightning Helix, Lightning Helix. Stupid. <laughs> go back in time and keep your first hand. <laughs> I'm gonna leave them with a thick card, so I'm gonna take Lava Spike. Yeah, they did, what a pun. I already took it off. All right, so it's going to be Lightning Helix number one. So we would have stranded two Lightning Helixes in their hand. Yeah, the Blood Moon would have gone there. Obviously, we're boarding it out, but this sucks. It is not good. They are going face as they should. If they draw land, we are dead to Lightning Helix Lava Spike. Yeah, 
Yeah, water pump. We were, we were just Dobbs from the beginning, I believe. I think the second hand was probably better versus Bird anyways, though. I know, I kind of like the first hand. I think the first hand was not too shabby. We just took a ton of damage from this. Caitlin, how are you? It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for the seven months. They have the lava spikes still, right? They do. We did. We did. Thank you, Caitlin. Look at all this hype. I love it. It's a nice hype. All right, against Burns. Collective Brutality is pretty good. Um, I don't love the Blood Moons. Bring in Circle of Protection Red. <laughs> the Goblin Guy would have murdered us with the first hand anyways, though. We would have, so we were on the play, so we would have Inquisition, then we could have actually taken the Goblin Guide. Yes, Molly, I don't even know what else to, to bring in. I think Moon stays in. It's not surgical. That's for goddamn sure. We're not bringing surgical. Hazard? Rival master for a faster clock. Well, yeah, we're, we we don't we definitely don't want the thought seizes. So if we're taking all that out, maybe one blood moon, maybe like two rival masters, and a hazard. Yeah, yeah, basically red hot. No, I, I like lingering souls because you get to loot them away to faithless looting. I think those are pretty good. Even chumping their creatures is acceptable. I, I feel like this is probably a bad matchup. I don't think we have a lot to bring in. Mm, yeah, this is fine. Are we inquisitioning them turn one? We might want to. Hey, Malves, how are you? Though, we do get to... Uh, sorry, I don't have a deck list command, Malves. It's just... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to Inquisition them. I think if we take, like, a Goblin Guide or something, that's, like, pretty nice. I don't think I want to take damage. Okay. Uh, okay, they have no turn one play. I hope they don't draw one. Taking Idol on the Great Revel sounds pretty nice, because then these are just burn spells, but these are a limited amount of burn spells. It's like the Eidolons that deal us more damage. Yeah, so I think I'll take the first Eidolon, and then we'll have to bolt the second one or something. God, this matchup seems so bad. Um, they played Wooded Foothills and they passed. So they have Bolt, Eidolon, Skullcrack, and Boros Charm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to send PZ out to die over here. Because then it'll they'll crack this and they'll bolt my young PZ, which I think is okay if PZ dies over here. I, I just The only thing I don't want to happen is I don't want them to come at me. Yeah, they, they see, they just even went for my face. They did not care. If they draw Searing Blaze, I'm going to be kind of tilted. They drew the Sacred Foundry, and they're out of bolts. So then there's the Eidolon. Um, I do think it's important for us to kill this Eidolon right now. <laughs> okay, I think that... Oh, no, I think it's wrong too, Molly. They're running out of gas pronto. They have the Skullcrack, the Bloodstained Mire, and the Boros Charm, and an Unknown. So... 
I'm gonna murder this thing. I'm gonna get an owie from it. I'm probably going to get red source with this so that I can faithless looting. I, I guess I, yeah, and then I just pitch the faithless looting and buy it back. So our game plan versus burn is we inquisition one card and they never drag us ever again, kind of. We just don't have a much, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to pitch the souls, Molly. We just don't have that much against them. Like, we have nothing in the form of life gain, not really. And all of our spells are pretty cheap, so like Eidolon is pretty good against us. And... There are some matchups that just crush burn, but we're just not one of them. We're, like, pretty slow, given what they do. If they're on the play, they just play Goblin Guide. We're just... Unless we have removal for it really quickly, we're kind of dobs. Our mana base kind of hurts us. We have fetch lands and stuff, so... It feels like it's no bueno. All right. They're letting it die. Sure. Hmm... All right, let's play Bloodstained Mire. I don't want to get an Aoi from this. I'll just get a red. Okay, now I have some elementals to block too, which is nice. Let's get a Lingering Souls. I don't think I want to fetch for this, so I'll just get a, I'll keep a Swamp. It seems strange that Burn isn't a matchup to dedicate some sideboard to. So, you know, a lot of modern decks concede some matchups. Like, I'm not, I'm not, this is my first time playing this. They suspended a Rift Bolt. Sure. This is my first time playing this, so it's not like I have um, super strong opinions about how this deck sideboards or whatever. But, ooh, I kind of like this. If we Brutality, we definitely get to take a spell. Oh, they do skull crack the life. But we do get to take one of their spells, which I think is not nothing. Like, I think we go Lingering Souls first, and then we Brutality them. And then that, then they might actually, like, then they respond probably. But then we get to take their Boros Charm, which I think is not too shabby. Uh, yeah, crazy dude. I'm gonna play it in a sec. We're playing one league with Mardu Pyromancer. Currently we're playing against Burn, so it's not gonna be super long. <laughs> can't save it. Yeah, I don't think we should save the Brutality. I, I might even discard this bowl. I did think we want to do two spells this turn. I think we wanted a Lingering Souls for sure. Today's study for coverage day, not variety. True, correct. Kendra, we, we are going to be playing Jurassic World. I, I just wanted to play one quick league with this deck and then... I don't know. If if it hadn't come out today, I would have been less inclined to, to just jam Modern, but it came out literally today, so... <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna escalate. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, let me attack first, hold on. It does kind of force them. No, Lana, we are, we're using it this turn for sure. The question is, is we escalate or not? We know they have Skullcrack in hand. I'm probably just gonna dress them. Yeah, Kaden, that's why I wanted to attack first. Alright, so now I'm just gonna dress them. A 
Oh, they were ready to snap it off. But they realized that, okay. Sure. So they got a Swiss spear, which is good because we can block it. And they have a Rift Bolt in, um, in suspense. So let's take the Skull Crack. This comes off suspend. We know they have Swifty and nothing else. Oh, they drew a Goblin Guide. Okay. Ooh, we did it! Hey, Spirit! Welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Oof. Okay, it does feel like we have to, like, battle for our victories against this deck. The matchup looks atrocious. Atrocious. Good! I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, we're gonna be on the draw, dude. This is bad. <laughs> Blood Moon doesn't seem very good on the draw. E3 was goodish. Yeah, it was pretty good. There's a couple games that look sweet out of it. Um, I know it's made me want to play The Last of Us because I never played The Last of Us and now I want to play it given that the second one is coming out. I'm pretty excited about it. Yes, I saw Resident Evil 2 Remake. I played that game a million years ago. I actually really like the first Resident Evil Remake. Though, I feel like I am have become a little chicken shit for the spooky games. I used to have more of an appetite for them. The Last of Us trailer looked dope. Yeah, it, it, it did. Totally did. Dude, I totally am getting like chicken shit for stuff. Like I still really like watching scary movies, but I have gotten m more chicken shit for playing the scary games, like the survival horror games. I think they, I don't know. I don't even think it's that I'm like, I'm more scared of them. I just have less of an appetite for them. I don't know what to change here. I don't think I want the Blood Moon. We're on the draw. It sounds awful. Like, I don't even think I want the second one. Maybe it's EE. -E. E, -E, e to kill their one drops. DVD is not a scary game though. I don't consider it a scary game. I know I, like, scream when I play it sometimes, but I don't consider it a scary game. I saw there's, like, a new clown and a new survivor. I think it was full of good stuff. Didn't like the Nintendo stuff myself, but a friend of mine is a pretty big Smash streamer, so he was pretty happy. That's awesome, Doom Drake. I still need to play Resident Evil Biohazard. I did not play that. And a shit ton of new cosmetics? I do like that. It's, it was a big patch, right? That The audio levels peaking can be pretty scary for the viewers. Oh... Yes. <laughs> the sideboard seems loose, to be honest. Well, our sideboard plan is not great against this deck, no. Lol, Magikarp, thank you so much for the six months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. You guys, Lol, Magikarp is on my stream team, too. It was thanks to him that we have pretty dope sweatshirts on Inked. Um, it's actually on my profile. I think if you click on the section that's called Sweet Swag, uh, you can actually see the Viper Boot hoodies there. I kind of want to retweet people's pictures of, with the hoodies, like, on the stream team account. I think that would be fun. This hand is... Oh my god, these Lingering Souls are so slow. I think this hand is a keep, because we get to go Inquisition into Dreadbore or Collective Brutality. But we need, like, a Flayth of Slitting or something. Yeah, it, it, is, it, is, it is playable. I need them to not... Though them fetching main phase here is they have a goblin guide or something. Swifty, yeah. Yeah, that is the plan, Molly. Pitching two brutality is even more dope. Ooh, I like the way you're thinking, actually. That is pretty dope. Let's kick it off with this. And see if we can get another critter or something. <sighs> Rip? This is interesting because, like, I usually would want to punish them for bringing a card like Rip, but against this hand, it's actually, like, really good. Gotta run to Frisbee. Good luck with the league. Thank you, Red Hot. Enjoy Frisbee. I think the matchup is so bad that having something with really high upside, like Blood Moon, is beneficial to have. Yeah, but I, the being on the dr play on the draw also matters. Yeah, I think I have to take Rip as much as I don't like to. 
Because it just, I don't know, it gets us real good. Yep, that, that is the plan. That is the plan, Magikarp. So they went wooded foothill, so they topped that. And they are Boros Charming main face, so that they get a Monastery, so Spirit Trigger. Okay, so we actually know their whole hand. It's Sacred Foundry, Skullcrack, Inspiring Vantage. So we get to... We get to... Screw up with our whole hand over here. This We might actually pull this out. This is actually going okay. Brutality is about to be insane. So we want to get our red source with this. Okay. Let's cast Escalade three modes. You, you, you. And then discard this and this. Yas! So they have Inspire Vantage, Take a Friendly Skull Crack. So we take that. That was insane. Yeah, the triple mode is pretty nice. Oh, gaining the two life matters quite a bit. Okay, they played Inspiring Vantage, and that's it. So they have a Sacred Foundry. Um, Peckin and Snakes, we won this game. <laughs> I think we don't want to loot right now. I think we want to start casting these Lingering Souls. Okay, they drew something. Lava spike. Now I might loot for a land. The, I, I really wanted to get some creatures down. I guess I should have done that before attacking with the spirits. Shoot, we didn't find one. Ugh. These dread birds look pretty atrocious. Okay, I hope they don't peel a creature. We're gonna get super punished. Zai! Kelly Moly almost two years! Holy moly, almost two years, new with yellow Gabby Hydem fan. Zai, how are you, dude? Congratulations on your top eight. I'm, I was rooting for you to win it all. You, I was, win I was rooting so hard for you to win it all. I was so sad when it didn't. When you didn't. Red Undead, I'm good, how are you? I tried, but the little elf killed me. Yeah, I didn't actually get to watch it. I was just following it on Twitter because I knew you were there. I think I'm just going to play Lingering Souls back up again. And we're going to kill them with this thing. We ha we, we're not going to die out of nowhere. Oh shit, what is this? Searing so Blood was kind of a beat. They have one unknown still. It was over very fast. Aw. Okay, Eidolon is fine. We don't know what the last one is for sure. I've never had an opponent snap keep IRL so fast as Aaron game one. I didn't have a chance. Aw. <laughs> That's so sad. Okay, this Hazard looks terrible, so I think I'm gonna not even look at their hand. I'm gonna gain life and kill a creature. Yeah, Rototo, exactly. So we're gonna escalate two modes. Creature gets minus two, minus two, and we drain. And then we're gonna, you get minus two, we drain you. We pay this two. And then I think I'm just gonna pitch the Hazret, probably. It's just not really doing that much. And let's, we just gotta hit them three times with the spirits and they're dead. And then if they play a creature, we have the mountain to bolt it. And if they don't, we just bolt them and then we get in there with the spirits again. I think we're gonna win. Have I ever thought of having a mentor and bushwhacker in this deck? Is is it? I've This is my first time playing this deck ever. Oh geez, what is this? Medium annoying. Uh, 
Okay, I cannot... I can't fizzle that spell. They're on zero, so let me bolt their face. And... Attack with these two. Oh, thank you so much, How I appreciate that. And now we're gonna drain them. Yeah, so glad to be a supporter. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. You guys, we be burned! Amaze! Fatality! Dude, brutal, brutal. We won that match because we had a, a brutality in our opening hand. That it, it came down to that. There was nothing else. <laughs> Do not be confused. Nothing, it came down to nothing else. Um, but how, how are you doing? Thank you again for the six months. That's super, super kind of you. I hope you enjoy your new hat. You get the adventurer's hat today. And Kindrel with a tier two sub and the 13 months. Happy and lucky anniversary to me. Happy anniversary to you. Thank you so much, Kendrell, for the continued support. I really appreciate it. Thank both of you two for all the continued support. Everybody here on the stream, honestly. But I could draw Brutality and then... Every time I play Jun into a bad matchup, I'm like, but I could draw Brutality and then... Yeah, exactly, Michael. I, I didn't realize how much that was going to be like the only card that mattered. Had my opponent rage when I cast my fourth brutality on turn four one time. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. All right, Hearn, let's battle. Uh, this hand is pretty sweet. We get to keep. We can thought seize them on one, or we could looting into lingering souls, which is kind of nice. I think that card's gonna be big dollars someday, dude. Michael, it's already big dollars right now. This card was a rare, like, a couple sets ago, and it's so expensive on Magic Online. Yeah, exactly, Giga. The last time I went and saw that I needed Brutalities for a deck, and I saw how much they cost, I was like... Sliver, how are you? On Arena today, I played someone who played BR, but 100% removal spells. It was super, very weird. Huh. Could they ever win? Like, did they have a win condition? I sold my pre-release brutality for like the yeah. It wasn't it also like a pre-release promo. And the card is so it's just infinite money. Yes, judge, hundred uh. percent. TCG is seventeen for normal right now. It's just just too much. It's your birthday. <laughs> You guys, can we get some hype in chat for Sliver's birthday? Do you have any sweet plans? Hmm, I'm spamming your chat. Rest in peace, your chat experience. Wait, they took my lingering souls? What? I am extremely confused. When did I get an air horn button? Um, I have this like this thing over here. It's called the stream deck. Oh, it's working for 12 hours, sweet sliver. Yeah, they have to be wrong. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm really confused. Um, we're going to thought seize them right back. See what's going on with our hand. It was not surgical or misclick. It was just weird. I think I'm taking... <laughs> Can we keep talking about the stream that get that Elgata spawn? I think you're actually supposed to take Wraith. I'm thinking about Wraith, yes, because if we're playing against uh, DS, we don't want them to lose life. It's I th I'm pretty sure it's Wraith or Dismember. I think I'm taking the Wraith. Oh, they drew another uh, Street Wraith. All right. Watery Grave. So they can play a Death Shadow if they find one. They still have a Bolt and Dismember in hand that we know of. Uh, I wouldn't mind Thought Seizing Faithless looting this turn, though we could just play Lingering Souls and start bashing. 
I think you deny them a card draw by taking raise. Ah, I think the like life the life loss matters too against them. Hey Valorian, are you also a lady that plays magic? Yay! I love magic. I've been playing it for a while now. Yeah, I think I'm soulsing this turn. What time am I moving to Jurassic World? Uh, three matches into this. I'm on match two, but this is the first game. So soon. I, my, my guess is like an hour and a half, maybe? I am. Just started it again a couple months ago. Mono Black. I love that. How long ago did you used to play? Is this Gabby? This is Gabby. Good luck, have fun. Less than three. Yes, Giga. It's a new game that came out. It's kind of like a Sims with, but for Jurassic Park. So we get to build a park with dinos. <laughs> and I, I think the plan is to like take over the world with dinos or something. I played like 20 years ago when I was a little kid at camp, but a friend got me back into the weekly recently. That's amazing. Good luck to you too. Aw, my opponent's sweet. Yeah, I never played when I was a kid. I actually played Pokemon when I was a kid. So I'm full of regret because I feel like I could have a sweet collection if I started playing Magic back then, but I, you know, didn't play back then. So, um, but I started playing like six years ago, I think now, and I haven't really stopped since then. We know they have Lightning Bolt Dismember in hand. Yeah, I kind of just want to go, like... I'm good, Sapro, thank you. Yeah, I saw the DLC for DVD. I, I don't think they're worth money, Dokomo. I still have the whole collection. I should look into it. Maybe they're worth cash money. I mean, they're only collecting dust in my bookshelf, so there's no... <laughs> I started around when it was released. That is a long time ago. Yeah, so let's go ahead and attack first, I think, and see if anything happens with that. And if not, we probably go like... PZ into Inquisition? Ooh. They are bolting me. I kind of like that. We know they don't have the bolt. I feel like a game where you build Jurassic Park are so like you want the park to malfunction the cat park. Maybe double bolt. Um I I don't know what they have. I do think I'm gonna shock here and play my PZ. I think I'm gonna thought seize them. Just because I think this member takes. Oh! We got denied! Okay, so they still have the dismember and an unknown. We cannot pay for it. But at least Young PZ's not dead. I guess it's gonna die right now in the untap. What standard decks would be good to invest in that don't get hit by rotation? Uh, honestly, my answer to that is probably not standard. I, I hate to say it. I think you're better off. Um, you're better off... Um, playing modern all right so i think uh they only have one card in hand we know it's dismember i don't particularly care to blood moon them here because i think i can um get a little bit of value out of this young pyromancer which is about to die we can go inquisition and then they'll respond with dismember and then we can lightning bolt their face yeah i think so so let's go ahead and try to inquisition them first i 
Well, but Robinson, if, if this baits them into using Inquisition, we just get to kill them. Oh, they're killing my spirit. The collective brutality also kills them. So if I keep... Yeah, I'm keeping both the bolt and the collective brutality. So I'm just gonna go like this. So we can attack with both. They block us here. This gets through. To hit them to four, we bolt them. Oh, I guess it doesn't actually even do anything. I guess we just pass, and then end of their turn, we bolt their face. Untap Collective Brutality, send with everybody. Yeah, all right, we're not sending with anybody. I think we're just really trying to dodge Team or Battle Rage one turn. Yeah, I, I think they don't even have good attacks here, right? So now we just bolt their face. Dreadboard just kills that thing. Though sending with everybody also kills that thing. Uh, they don't... Team or Battle Rage doesn't even kill us? No, it would kill us. It, it would kill us. I think I'm just gonna send, actually. Well, they were at 10. I guess we wouldn't... They'd be at 10 because we both their face. Oh, no, we do it at the end of the turn. Right, so it doesn't even kill us. All right, so against this... These guys, we probably want EE to kill all the shadows. Uh, push kills the shadows, too. I don't know about... Nile Spellbomb could be okay. Doesn't let them Gurmag out too fast. Hi everyone, good to catch a stream again. Had a lot of oh, Farrah, welcome back to the stream. It's good to see you. Street Wraith into Battle Rage stack the deck. <laughs> I don't think we want Surgical. Um, I'm not convinced that we want the other Brutality either. Brutality doesn't actually kill anything of theirs. And I'm still really confused that they took my Lingering Souls on turn one. I, that didn't make any sense. It was confusing. Don't worry, modding squirrel. It was only an afterthought. <laughs> you would have had it be Wraith into TBR. That'd be pretty dope, actually. Um, what else? What do we want Molten Rain? I wonder what matchups you want Molten Rain in. Kinda wanna cut the brutalities, am I being crazy? They really don't seem great. I'd rather have like Inquisitions and Thought Ceases. Tron? There's gotta be more than just Tron though, right? It seems weird to just have like three sideboard slots for Tron. I guess it's like good against Ponza, you kill the card that's Utopia sprawled or something. Molten Rain Blood Moon is a solid game plan. Yeah, I mean it is. Big mana decks in general, sure. I guess against the Drazi Tron is like not too shabby either. Sorin is good against control too and some combo decks. I do I do think that hitting their uh celestial colonnade is like pretty big game. Alright. We'll try this. Huh. 
Ah, thanks. Oh, I do like that we have Blood Moon. This hand is okay. It's not great. It's just okay. But we do have turn one Faithless Looting. And to turn two PZ. Keep. Yeah, Gatekeeper, I don't think I want it. Me. Me. What do they take? I mean, they might take Blood Moon. Depending on what their hand looks like. They did take the Blood Moon. It might have been different if they didn't turn one uh, fetch with Blood Crypt, but they did. Alright, let's go Faithless Looting. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Yeah, I think I think so too, Molly. We might draw another Blood Moon too. That's not out of the question. Um, honestly, this Bedlam Reveler doesn't look like we're casting this anytime soon. I don't think it's what we want either. Um, and we definitely want the Swamp. Colgan's Command could also potentially buy back that that the Bedlam Reveler. So maybe it's like Reveler Bolts. Bolt's not doing a whole lot here. Feel pretty sure about this. I think I'm building that too. I kind of like Dreadboard to just kill their, their shadows. Because it just does kill them good. That's why I didn't like the Bolt as much. Because Bolt doesn't... They only kills the shadows of their babies. And sometimes you don't even want to do it. Because if they have a straight rate, that's just like a pump spell. They get you good. So now they probably take my Nile spell bomb? Yeah, exactly, Molly. Exactly. Yeah, this is gonna be the bomb, sadly. We looted into it, too. Or maybe they don't have any Gurmags or anything like that. Maybe Dreadboard, depending on their hand. I would... I think it's Nile's Stipple Bomb is my guess, but it could just be Dreadboard. It's possible they have both. They probably have Joe Grimaggio. Grimaggio. Uh, my guess is they have both, and so they're trying to figure out, like, given that, what do they want to do with their hand? Yeah, they did take the spell bomb. Um. Spellbomb only shuts things off one time, but it could still be annoying for them. If they have a Joker Maggio, they probably want to just get rid of it, you know? I kind of want to... So them doing that signifies that to me that they have, like, a Tassiger or a... Fi the the, the Grimaggio. So I'm less inclined to want an Inquisition, because they're getting pretty close to being able to do it next turn if they have, like, a Thought Scour or something. Yeah, I think so too, uh, Gatekeeper. So my question is, like, is it worth it to Inquisition in this spot um, to try to take a Shadow if they have it, or just play Young Peasy and then, like, set it up to kill it next turn or whatever? Yeah, it is Dokomoi. I think, I think we'd rather play Pyro and then over the next couple turns, if they don't kill it, we have a lot of tokens to make. Tell me, Molly. <laughs> the line of six over the whole weekend I guess it's probably like one a day what oh fudge 
Budge sickles. That was so sad. Well, Dreadboard kills that, and then I can Inquisition too. I think I want to Inquisition first, real quick. Just to see what's up. Oh, oh yeah. A Fudgesicle sounds real good right now. I, I do really like Fudgesicles. Ooh. Engineered Explosives kind of doesn't do anything right now. So let's take Serum Visions. Yeah. So now we go Bloodstained Mire, and we are going to get our Red Source, I believe. And Dread Bore You. Alright, this is actually going okay. Now they can play Scalding Tarn, and then Kologon's Command can make him discard one more thing, and then we can buy back Bedlam's. No! They drew that? They played Scalding Tarn. No, it was gonna be so good! Okay, well, we know their hand is Engineered Explosives, and that's it. Can we top deck something sick? We do have the um, Faithless Looting, so that's not bad. We know they have EE. Next turn, we can Engineered Explosives. All right. Or sorry, next turn, we can uh, Faithless Looting if they don't snap kill it. Okay. Oh no! That gets rid of our faithless looting! Gabby, did you see the E3 gameplay video for The Last of Us? No, I did not see it. I heard it was amazing. I have to scope it out. Wahoo! How are you? Welcome! <sighs> they are top decking like a pro. Alright, well there's the polluted delta. We, they still just have the engineered explosives. So we are on nothing and nothing. And if we draw anything good, we can get start getting some Tokarino. Had my three year review at work today and they look Oh wahoo, that's awesome! I'm so happy for you. That's amazing. Hope you get a raise. They are contemplating whether or not they want to fire off engineered explosives on my PZ. Oh, wow. I don't like that. Michael, welcome to the brew. Thank you so much for subbing. Okay, they cast it for zero. So getting making tokens doesn't do that. No! My opponent has E. Wow! Wow. Good beats, man. <laughs> oh yeah i know we can't cast it but i'm still just like that was amazing they they, they like saw it they saw into the future they just knew look on the bright side if we get a white source we can fire off the first one and then they'll be forced to crack it otherwise they're gonna die except they actually found something dope here which makes me unhappy Ghosting from the future. No, Grimaggio! Why did they float mana like this? I don't understand what that was. Yeah, we are. We are, Molly. We are indeed. We have to draw a second bolt. They do have those polluted deltas, which they might crack at some point. We'll see. 
Nada? I think we just pass. Ooh. PZ number two is not too shabby. So next turn, maybe we go like bolt their face to three and make. God, if we had one more, it'd be so sweet. Yeah, I'm probably gonna bolt EOT now. They do have the engineered explosives for our, for our little dudes, but it might force them to actually crack it. He has Torque Thrown. <laughs> All right, let's see. They don't need to know that we have that. We attack with, oh, we should do it before combat. We attack all, they block one of them. They kill this one, this one gets in for one and then post combat, we lingering souls. Yeah. All right, bam. So this forces them to crack the engineered explosives. Yes. All right, and then they eat one of my peasies. Molly's chill, Molly's chill. All right, one of the peasy dies. And now we crack this. Get Sacred Foundry. Yes. Hooray, okay. They should be dead now. Their deltas are dead too. Not that they really need them. Oh, we wanted we wanted to force the issue with the tokens. We needed them to get rid of their engineered explosives. So bolting there forces them to do that. Like even if we don't have lingering souls or like the mana to cast it, we can draw something else that makes us tokens. But as long as they have engineered explosives, we can't extend too much into it. So that made it so that they had to trade with two of our tokens as opposed to like four of our tokens or five of our tokens or whatever. <laughs> Sloopers. Uh, do they run as some kind of sweeper? Sometimes I have seen these decks have... Um, I've seen Damnation in these decks before, but it's not super common. So no, I would not expect them to, to be running that here. Yeah, summoning sickness forces in the team. We want that we wanted them to be able to attack. Grimaggio. I think I want to chump with an elemental. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was my reaction to Friday. I was like, okay, 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 okay. Good beats. <laughs> let me get uh, let me get a kombucha. I'll be right back. Let me play an ad while we're waiting for a match chat. I'll be our beats. When I hear something sad, chat, I have um, this like herb garden that I that I got that had like basil and nice mints and stuff, and I had been growing them for like since I moved to Denver. And then the weekend that I was gone in Richmond, I came back and they were all dead. <laughs> and now I don't have nice. Co yes, they were all dub. It made me so sad. <laughs> 
Yeah. It is sad. Let me keep this. They're like, have fun. Hi. Go like, have fun. They were like burnt to a crisp. I watered them before leaving. I was just gone for so long. And like the weather's been so warm here. So when I came back, they were like, they looked. <laughs> Luis <laughs> said I should grab them and <laughs> grind them and put them in like a spice thing because it looked like it dried her herbs. <laughs> Uh, uh Flicker Wisp, Path to Exile, and Resto Angel. Instead, in telling similar sad story after I got home yesterday, I accidentally dug my glass bottle of maple syrup on the ground and it shattered. Yeah, I think I'm taking the Flicker Wisp. Actually, I don't really care about the Path to Exile. It doesn't even kill anything of ours. We we're a lingering souls deck. We don't care. Peace out, Flicker Wisp. Yeah, the path is not hitting anything in the near future. And if it hits anything, it's probably going to be a Lingering Souls. We don't have that many creatures. Yeah, so they took... They put planes. Okay. Ooh. We could take Inquisition, though. Yeah, this is the green white love bears. Classic wheat green white love bears. I think I'm gonna take Path and then next turn I'll play Peasy. Oh, they drew Thalia. Yeah, I do have the push for the Thalia. Yeah, they're love bears. Slow bears, they're love bears because they've never successfully hated anybody out of modern. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of want to dig path, um, because we can deal with Athalia. Okay, so they have Horizon Canopy, path, they have Rest, still Athalia, and Horizon Canopy. That is their hand. Let's play Marsh Flats. Antagonist Bears. <laughs> Alright, so Horizon Canopy, and they're about to play Thalia. Right, so they have a Resto Angel. Yeah, this turn's gonna go really nicely because here I'm gonna crack. I think I'm not gonna be Blood Mooning against them, is my guess, because I could just get Sacred Foundry in case we draw the front side of Lingering Souls. I think that's reasonable. So I'm gonna Sacred Foundry, not pay for anything. And this turn, I will play a Peasy. Okay, and we have to make sure that we kill this before they can blink it with rest, though. So it has to be next turn. You had a 90% win rate with hate bears way back when nobody knew how Leon and Arbiter worked on them to Geo. I will say, uh, Sagem, I have, like, not fetched against that card so many times, it is horrible. They drew something good. An ether vial. Okay, so their hand is Resto Angel. That is acceptable. Um, mildly annoying bears. Yeah, just care bears over here. Uh, if we want to be mana efficient, we could just Dreadbore to kill this thing. But Dreadbore kills the Resto Angel too, as opposed to Fatal Push. Kind of doesn't. What if you're playing against Wesco, then you then you can't win. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna push. Mm, push a real good. His bears are actually hateful. <laughs> All right, so Ether Vile is probably gonna put a counter, and if they don't hit a land, they can't rest though. They played a Copter. All right, but they still can't do anything else. Uh, this does not get the Resto Angel, sadly. 
This will cost one less against for each instant of sorcery card in your graveyard. So we have one, two, three. So not not quite there yet. I guess we're just playing. We might Inquisition just to get two two elementals. Like this is not getting any better, right? Like we're never gonna catch something stranded in their hand. They're they're gonna play it for sure. They have like a million mana and an active vial. Yeah, I think I think so. Let's just go ahead and do it. We know we're bricking. Done. All right, now we can get in here for quite a bit. Swing. No, the rest on their hand looks pretty bad. So we have four in the yard for the bedlam. <laughs> Turns out things cast the costing four mana is a drawback. Oh, they, okay, so they didn't, okay, well now, this actually enables our bedlam. Little did they know. <laughs> they're gonna crack their canopy? Oh, they're gonna tech edge us? They are tech edging us. Oh god. So if we draw land, we're still alive with Bedlam. If not, we're gonna need some help. Because Dreadboard can't kill shit right now. <sighs> Classic the land we deserve. Oh yeah, I am counting it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good beats. I feel like, for some reason, with all the decks that I've been playing in Modern lately, it it keeps being that every time on turn 4 I will always draw the cliffs. It It's just happened so many times. <laughs> Ark, thank you so much for the host! Ark, how was your stream? And if you're coming in from Ark stream, welcome! We are playing a green, a white, love bears. Um, love bears because they've never successfully or we're playing against them. They've never successfully hated anybody out of this format. Hello, streamer. I'm new here. Hi, Penguin. Ark! Yeah, they're dead. Um, they can't bolt anything in, and then we just cast Bedlams. Uh, we know their hand is... I guess we technically don't know what it is. Um, but we get to do this 5, 6, 7, 8. So let's go... Tech. You want a game versus shops with a Mox Ruby for mana? That's pretty cool. Okay. Are you dead? I can't see how you get out of this, but you might be alive. I think you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> nice smuggler's copter. <laughs> a smug I will say smuggler's copter is pretty awkward against like... Like it's pretty awkward in Aether Vile deck. I don't know. Um, all right, how much vintage do you play? I like that you play a ton of vintage. I think it's sweet. They had an extremely awkward draw. We also, our d discard lined up well against their, their draw. Violing Dwarven Priest would have saved them there. Do they even play that? I don't think they play that, though. Do they, though? Do they? I'm telling you, Korak. Green, white, love bears. Classic love bears. Is Moon any good here? Yeah, it's not great. They do play Horizon Canopy. Uh, what do we want against them? Moon on the draw does seem bad. We can cut that out. We might want Wear and Tear. They do play Vials and apparently Smuggler's Copter.
They do run Tech Edge and Ghost Quarters, that is true. Oh, Blade Splicer? Yeah, I can see bringing like one or two of these. I don't think I want Surgical, I don't think I want Rallo Master. Uh, Engineered Explosives is just okay. Hazard? Hazard doesn't seem super worth it. Like, what else are we taking out? Collective Brutality? We just basically take paths with that? What other non-creature spells does this deck play? Oh, these decks also play Gavney Township sometimes. I, maybe I'll bring in the Blood Moons back on the play, but I think they are bad on the draw. I think we just don't have much of a sideboard plan against them. I think this is what we're running. Alright, this is it. Yeah, we we have the wear and tear for that though at AT. I think that's gonna be good. Yeah, because we can we can tear that too, if it comes to it. Um, yeah, let's keep it. You would board out a few revelers and sail bring in graveyard hate them bring hazard and a revel master. Um, God, revel master sounds pretty bad against them. I don't think I want rebels. I'm not into that rebels life. Let's go ahead and shock here in Faithless Looting. We are looking for another land. Uh, oh, sorry, we have a swamp all the way to the left. We are not looking for a land then. We don't really care about... The Bedlam looks kind of shitty here. Yeah, I don't I don't want to play Hazard. Yeah, that's also true. They, they are a path deck and Hazard is like pretty bad against that. Okay, so let's get rid of the Bedlam and Wear. No, I, I want to have Wear and Tear, I think. I could see pitch Pitching Push. Yeah. Even... Yeah, let's Pitch Push. Asian Avenger, how are you? Welcome. They did have that rip. So I need to get a fetchable land so I can... Alright, I think instead I'm just gonna go like peasy. Yeah, uh, Molly, I think uh, inquisitioning them on turn one would have been pretty sweet. I kind of want to go Inquisition, Inquisition here. I think that might be better than Young Peasy. Because I would love to, to tear that Rest in Peace. Alternatively, we go like Pyromancer, but if they go Thalia, then we gotta... Then we're like, can't quite Inquisition, Inquisition. I think playing this is better. Let's do a little bit of setup, and then... Yeah, I was just more talking about the fact that we wouldn't be able to, like, double spell this turn, which which is pretty nice that we get to double spell them. I would like to use the ability. Um, I think I'll get a... I already have double black sources, so I'm gonna get a mountain. Ghost quarter, sure. Alright. We kind of still get to double spell over here. Um, we get to both Thalia and Inquisition, and we actually want to sequence it that way because I must say I've been playing the deck with planes instead of a second foundry. Found it to be quite good, especially after sideboard. Oh, that that could be true. We we have been having a hard time getting our white sources, uh, sir, but. Um, We've been making do. Alright, so let's go ahead and kill her. I can't tear. Um, I have I don't have white. We do get to triple spell this turn, though, depending on what they have, because we get to Inquisition them. 
Oh, we got Amir and Crusader, and they have a Horizon Canopy, so there's no reason to use the other one. Oh yeah, we would be dead. We, we cannot be Mirren Crusader. <laughs> we could chump it with like tokens, I think is the best we got. I've been enjoying this deck actually. It's been fun. Okay, there's the Horizon Canopy. They're playing a little something something. They're cracking the canopy. It'd be pretty dope if they like played a, a Thalia or something here. Leon and Arbiter. Because now we can call against command, kill their Leon and Arbiter, and make them discard, and they're down to zero again. I think that's what we want to do. Yeah, so target player discards a card, call against command, deals two damage to any target. The only problem, though, is that the Thoughtseize and the Inquisitions are, like, pretty bad after that. Like, we just, we're never sniping anything. Yeah, Giga, that is my only concern. We do want to kill the Leon and Arbiter, though. So it's not, like, zero. Well, they can be useful before you play out a creature check for removal. That's true. I still think we call a guns command. Um, so you discard and you take damage. Why do you guys want to do it on their draw step? Why not make sure that we get the card right now? Oh, you guys wanted to, to like, thought seize them or whatever? Because I can thought seize too. <sighs> do we want to do that? You do lose a land if you do that, yes. All right, can we get something sweet? Nope. Not at all. They didn't play anything, so I don't think it's worth th Inquisition or Thought Seizing over here. It's probably like a removal spell. So we might be removal spelling before we get a creature. And again, nothing. It's not a land and it's not a creature. <sighs> I'm gonna keep passing. No land, no creature? What is their hand? Hey Eastern, how are you? Welcome. We're playing a super weird game. Alright, I have a million Thoughtseas, so I'm gonna kick off one Thoughtseas over here. leaves a creature in play. I, we really don't want them to, to, to Gideon. So I think we take the Gideon and then we Thoughtseize again and take an angel and we leave him with an angel and we can Dreadbore the angel. Alright, so get out Gideon. Thoughtseize you again. Take Resto. And now we can just like Dreadbore the resto if it comes in place to start attacking us or whatever. This has been a very weird game. <laughs> okay, there's our land. Okay. 
Okay. Right, presumably they're gonna play it here at the end of the turn. Sure. Okay. Okay. Leon and Arbiter. All right. Kind of want to... I guess I, the Lightning Bolt's more versatile, so maybe I do just go Dreadboard, Dreadboard. Though if they play another Planeswalker, I want to have the Dreadboard, so maybe I just Bolt it. Bolt it and then Dreadboard them. And then maybe I draw something sweet, like a Pyromancer or something. Or like a Lingering Souls. Nope. <laughs> this game, though. <laughs> Can we draw White Source? I guess at this point the White Source doesn't do that much for us, huh? Yeah, especially if they, like, stick a Leon and Arbiter, Molly. I don't know, this has been a weird game, man. Weird games all around. They're like, it's just a pile of mildly annoying creatures and so fast. It is! It's, it's green-white love bears, like I said. They've never successfully hated anybody out. Um... I'm not gonna float mana, it's just like not even worth it. <laughs> okay, they had another ghost quarter, which is why they wanted to quarter me. Not wasting time doing the technically correct thing. <laughs> Dude, this ghost quarter strip mine now. They're gonna get us. Fail to find. Okay, so we are down to one rest in peace and play. Three planes. <sighs> Good beats. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> oh no! No, so rude. What the hell? What's our mana base lo looking like? This is extremely stupid. We're playing Legacy. Ah, oh, thank God. That is good. We're probably gonna be way tearing this thing. All right, so Sacred Foundry is live. And then we can make sure that they exile their shit and then at the end of their turn, we'll tear them. And then we can start, I don't know, doing whatever. We can actually start building towards Bedlam Reveler, so. <laughs> we'll tear them a new one, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait. I wanna see what they do on their turn. But I'm probably gonna tear that rest in peace. Sure. I think I'm gonna shock so that I can tear and then push the stupid Draven. No, we can't use both sides. My question here is do I fetch, tapped, and then next turn just tear that and then push it so I don't have to take two life? Um, versus I just do it right now and then I untap and I might have like 
if I draw something, I, I'll have a chance to play something that turn. So, like, I think I'm not gonna pay for this just because I'm worried about the life. Um, and I won't push either because I want this in the yard. Alright, so now we can... Fusing, they just cracked the clue, which we're gonna do anyway, so we might as well just cast Tear on this. Oh, also can't fuse. Yeah, yeah. also that. <laughs> also that. Forgot that our mana is horrible after we got strip mined three times. I'm just gonna push it now, I think. Smart opponent, they didn't they didn't use it. Oh yeah, it feels feels bad, man. We have gotten strip mined a couple of times. Flicker Wisp is gonna die, that's okay. What a weird game. They're on zero cards. All right. Ooh, that was a nice draw. We do have to, unfortunately we do have to dreadbore this thing because we're at 10. You think the looting is worth the upside? It's a little greedy, because I, I really don't want to have to take that hit from Flicker Wisp, but we find a red source It's like, really nice, though. Risk it for the biscuit. All right, let's risk it for the biscuit. What would TBS do? <laughs> TBS does like to risk it for the biscuit. Ooh. Marsh Flats can get a... Kind of want to cast Lingering Souls from the front side. These, these discard spells look atrocious. They're on zero. So maybe we go Inquisition and Thoughtseize, we bin them, and then we go Marsh Flats and crack it. Wow, our hand's like vastly improving. This is pretty sweet. And we take Blood Crypt. And then just hard cast, or sorry, we take Sacred Foundry and we just hard cast it. And then we have a blocker for Flicker Wisp. And if not, we just Dread Bore it. Yeah. Shock. <laughs> that rate of fetch is to fetchables? Yeah, it's not the best. All right, so they don't have attacks right now. Perfect. Perfect. Um... What is our spell situation? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So Bedlam is kind of free. This deck is grindy AF. It is extremely grindy. They have Resto maybe? I wouldn't think so, JD. Uh, they've been top decking the entire time, so. Mm -hmm. I can Bedlam and still Souls after. What do they hold though? It could just be a land. I, I just don't think them having four untapped mana means Resto Angel, considering they've been top deck in the entire game. Uh, so let me go ahead and Bedlam. Oh, yeah, I could attack first because I'm going to have the Souls anyway, right?
Let's go Lingering Souls cast with flashback. Mm, let's play some cliffs. That was not the best uh, Bedlam Reveler I've ever seen. Or was it just Path? Uh, we are out of basics, aren't we? Alright. Canopy to redraw? Sure. Hmm. I like brutality. We can brutality three modes since we just have lands and we don't care. Yeah, mobs, I'm into that. We, we, we brutality, target them, kill your thing, target back you. We're just like so land flooded anyway. Why not looting? I want to kill a flicker wisp. I also want to see what's going on in their hand. <laughs> okay. They have nothing in hand. So they just drew monopaths. All right. No, I'm not going to loot right now. I'll, I'll loot next turn with one card in hand. Bene, how are you? Welcome. Look at us. We are grinding hard in modern. We're playing some nonsense deck. Mardu Pyromancer. I've never played it before, and I wanted to play it before GP Vegas. Just to, you know, know it a little bit better. How many passes have been now? I think it's three. It's hard to know because they're all exiled. Uh, path... Yeah, I think it's I I also think it's three. Ooh. Hello. How's it going, Bedlam Reveler? Don't mind seeing your pretty face. Oh uh, yeah, so let's just play peasy. We might just Inquisition just because it's like never going to do anything. I, I, I could use it next turn, but... Is it change my clock? I'm going to hit for 3, put him to 10. Then I have... Hitting for 5, 6, 7, 8, and I would have an extra one? Yeah, I might just fire it off. Oh, we can keep it in hand for looting? Yeah. There's like no real reason to play it, not really. Yeah, we'll use it for looting. You're right. Oh yeah, Chantal, I'm doing coverage this weekend. Also, hi! How you doing? Oh, yeah, our opponent's pretty dead. Oh, let me play up peasy. <laughs> of podcast fame? Chantel's on, um, God, what's the name of the podcast? Uh, Proven Combatants, I believe is the name of it. It is a dope podcast. You guys should scope it out. It's about an all, it's an all female cast of competitive women who are on the grind. Settle incoming? They don't have settle. You're so excited for Vegas, you've been good. Good, I'm happy to hear that. Ooh, nice. All right. Our opponent is just dead six ways to Sunday. Puyo, I'm good. I'm enjoying, about, we are actually like doing very well with this deck. I've been enjoying it. So we're getting in for six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, dead. But not seven ways to Sunday. No, just six. Just six, not seven. Not that dead. GG's. <laughs> Easy, extremely long win. It was an extremely long win. That was a really long match. We were down to five minutes on the clock. 
Um, all right, you guys, I'm not done streaming, but I am going to wrap up the YouTube video. So I'm not, remember, don't sign off yet. Let me just sign off for YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Bam! Not the smoothest outro ever. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you can subscribe to it for more modern videos. I'll also have a lot of limited and cube coming up in the near future because Vintage Cube is going to be online soon. Hooray! Um, if you would like to come say hi to us in the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash Gabby Sparts. I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. And if you are already subscribed, make sure you hit that little bell button so you get notifications when I upload new videos. If you're gonna be at GP Vegas, I would love to see you there. Um, I'm gonna be doing coverage, so don't be shy. You can come up to the coverage booth, say hi. I love meeting people from the stream. And with that, I leave you all. Good luck, have fun. See you later, everybody.